you clicked on the link in the description and downloaded the file, you should have this DRFX file right here. Select it and double click and wait for DaVinci Resolve to open and then you click install. Then after a few seconds you can find it under effects ASCII and then you have seven different presets which include different symbols. Let me just show you on one how it works. So you just drag it onto your clip and then pixel frequency controls how big they are. You have different contrast settings which get applied before the effect. For example you can make it less contrasty or more contrasty or you can boost the gain or bring it down and you can also invert it if you like. And next up is the color palette section. Here you can choose from a lot of different color presets or if you stay on custom, you can also put in your own colors right here. You can also delete these points and make your own custom gradient. But these points uh, are there because each controls a separate symbol. And if you don't like the colors that one of these presets has, but you like the general look, you can adjust it a bit further here. So let's say I want this to be a bit more yellowish, then I can just change the hue. Or I could also use the wheel. And then there's also a letters version where you can customize the font and the text however you like. So you have different presets like symbols, alphabet, alphabet caps, number, pattern, round, orthogonal, diagonal and detailed. And if you set it to custom you can also type in your own characters. You just have to make sure that it's nine characters. And then you can choose the font. I would actually choose something that looks like code. In my opinion it works the best. You can control the X and Y size. So for example you could make it a bit wider so it fills the entire pixel. And you can also control the position if your font is a bit offset. And lastly we have the custom edit page and the custom fusion page version which lets you pick your own icons that you can use. The RC shape pack will also come with a folder that you can download. And in this folder you have images that you can use with the custom edit page version. I will show you now how you can add them. So first of all you have to drag the custom edit page version onto your clip and then you have these different loaders and if you just click browse you can select your folder and then pick any image you like. It works the best if you have the brightest image which has a lot of white at the first symbol and then slowly make it darker and darker with the next images. The SC custom fusion page also works really similar you can also add your own shapes but it will be in the free pack and you have to use it in fusion so let's go into fusion into templates ascii and then add the custom fusion page and as you can see we get these inputs the uh, main image has to go into the yellow one and then you can add any uh, shape or text you want into the other inputs but you have to make them 100 by 100 or any other square format but I would recommend 100 by 100 because then it won't be such a high resolution and it will lag less and then you can drag it into the inputs and yeah that's basically it hope you have fun with this effect and see you in the next one